Oh, NWI, you coddled my precious source engine as it breathed its last breaths, and for that, I will be forever grateful. We're going for a thousand subscribers. Like and subscribe, guys. So as time goes by, more and more new things come along and seemingly replace the old things. In this circumstance, I'm talking about the Unreal Engine 4. Unreal Engine 4 came along and it seemingly put to death every other engine before it. However, there's a special place in not only my heart, but I'm sure many gamers' hearts, a special place for the Source Engine. There's just something about the way it feels the way it handles, the, the physics. Although it may be almost a 20 year old engine, there's just something about it that is so special. So as you may or may not have already grasped by now, this video is gonna be a little different than most of the videos I make. Come on guys, get up here. Come on guys, get up here. I'm trying man, I died. Alright, well I'm literally can watch him come out the spawn. Good job, good job. Go fast, go fast. Get the truck up here, let's go. So as most of you know, this game here is Insurgency Sandstorm, NWI's newest entry. Now, granted, this game had somewhat of a rocky start, you know, problems with optimization and, you know, all the things expected when a development company goes from one engine and completely learns and switches to a new engine. Of course, going from the Source engine to the Unreal 4 engine. Now, for whatever the reason, a lot of people still prefer the old OG Insurgency over the new Sandstorm Insurgency. And if I had to bet, it would have to do with the Source engine. There's just, like I said, something about it, the feel, it's just so crisp. The physics in it are just phenomenal. There's something unexplainable about the feel of that engine. And it just got me thinking, until if and when we ever get to Half-Life 3, why let the Source engine die? I present to you one of the most underutilized games on the market. That's right, Day of Infamy. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. I mean, there are some amazing community-made maps that no one has even played. Yes, that was me tryharding, but no, those were not bots. Now, there is so much about this game to be loved and also completely forgotten about. For instance, this has got to be one of the first games to have off-map call-ins, where a commander or officer uses his binoculars to pick a location and call in artillery or a gun run or smoke artillery. It's an awesome feature in, in so many games now. Of course, the big two that come to mind are Postscriptum and Hell Let Loose. I mean, this game has so many features that have still yet to be really refined or even used again by other companies, like the radio feature. You physically have to be near one of the radio men to talk to the other radio men in the squad, which is just an awesome feature I see. Of course, nobody uses it because everybody's just kind of playing for themselves. <laughs> oh yeah, and what about that gore? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so here's the main reason I asked you all here. There just so happens to be a seemingly untouched wealth of community-made maps that are just excellent. Right now we're looking at Carentan, and as you can see, it's pretty much spot on as if it was taken out of Band of Brothers or something like that. Now, there's a clan called WEB, or Web, and these guys are responsible for most of these community-made maps, especially these quality ones like Carentan here. And there's tons of them. I mean, you got Two Brook, Causeway, Carentan, Market Garden. I mean, it just goes on and on. And you can play them with bots, but, I mean, you can tell that these maps were set up for PvP. So with the slim chance of somebody from NWI actually listening, I beg of you, help us restart Day of Infamy. The community will do all the work. All we need is, like, a simple promotion, maybe a live stream talking about this, and all y'all gotta do is put the server in the forefront somehow. To the majority of you, I probably sound like a complete lunatic, and that's okay, but I know I'm not alone when I say that I am a fanatic for this Source engine. And until we get Half-Life 3, it's gonna be a special place in my heart for this Source engine. So, I guess this is me calling out into the universe, not only for NWI, but for other fanatics, other Source Engine fanatics, Day of Infamy fanatics. I need one of you, a couple of you, maybe a team of you, to make a freaking community map server. And like I said, if you are uh, never really played any of these community maps, it's super simple. All you gotta do is go into the Steam Workshop, and there's tons of them. Be sure to check out all the maps that the web guys made, because a lot of those have been in design for years. They were uh, taken from an old project called Resistance and Liberation, Liberation Resistance, but uh, of course that game's coming back on Unreal 4, but they used a lot of the old maps and old assets from that game and just threw them together to make these awesome freaking maps. So don't miss out on these. Like I said, at least you can play with bots until we figure this out. But we're gonna figure this out together. Go down in the comments. Let, let's, let's get something together here. <laughs> Who can run a server? I mean, I'm pretty sure, as far as Day of Infamy goes, you could just run a server with a decent computer. I I'm not sure, though. I don't know the all the technical technicalities of it. <laughs> all right, guys. I know this little dream of mine is a little far-fetched, but I had to put it out there. What do they say? Put it out in the universe and hope it comes back? Well, here's me trying. I don't know. There's just something about this game. Of course, it has a lot to do with the Source Engine. Just the way it feels, the way it plays. I just love this game. And something about this game that I don't like is the corridor-style corridor, corridor style maps. Only a couple of the maps are really wide open, where as these community maps, they're wide open. You have, you know, 100 meter plus engagements. I mean, we could even make for mods to where we got suppression and medics. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I, I could really see this game getting a second life. I don't know if it's just me, but here's the wishful thinking. Alright guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. We are pushing for a thousand subscribers. Help your boy out, like and subscribe. And for a little incentive, I got a Hell Let Loose key to give away. All you got to do is be a somewhat a little part of our community. Like this video and subscribe to the channel, of course. But join our Discord, it's linked right down below. And drop a comment. But when you drop a comment, leave your Discord name. That way if you win, I can get the right person the prize. Alright guys, y'all be good to each other.